Systole puncture is the diagnostic procedure to obtain the collection of the CSF from the cisterna magna. In this figure, this is the sagittal section of the head and neck with the cisterna magna. It is present somewhere here. The cisterna magna is nothing but it is the collection of the pool of the CSF at the cerebellomedullary area. And that's why it is also called as a cerebellomedullary cistern. In the suboccipital region, we find one membrane somewhere present here, and this membrane it extends from the margin of the foramen magnum to the upper aspect of the posterior arch of the atlas. And this membrane is the posterior atlanto occipital membrane. In case of the failure of the lumbar puncture, the anesthetics or the neurosurgeons or the person which is concerned with the neurodiagnostic procedures, they enter the needle through this posterior atlanto-occipital membrane and reach up to the cisterna magna. So the needle should be inserted through the posterior atlanto-occipital membrane upward and forward. But this procedure should be done by the experienced hands only because if the needle advances further forward and it may damage this lower part of the medulla oblongata. And here in the lower part of the medulla oblongata, we find the many vital centers. And if the injury to these vital centers present within the medulla oblongata, it may lead to the sudden death of the patient. So this is the clinical importance of the cisternal puncture. The cisternal puncture, it is also called as a suboccipital puncture because it is done via suboccipital triangle.